6.1, Exponential Functions and Equations. We're continuing our study of functions, but this time we're doing something much different than what we've done before. Before we've always worked with polynomials, x to a power. Today we're going to look at this thing called exponential functions. So my first definition for today is Suppose I have a fixed real number a that is not equal to 1. The exponential function, we say that it has the base a, and the function itself is a to the x power. Again, always so far we've always had x to a number power, but now what if I have a number and x as my power? This is what we call an exponential function. In particular, we're mainly going to be focusing on this thing called the natural expo exponential function. This is the function f of x is equal to e to the x. Well, e is actually a special number that pops up a lot in math courses and in nature. The value of e is approximately 2.718. So this may seem a little bit weird, but it's actually it's not something new. You may remember the constant pi. Whenever you think of pi in math, you think of the number 3.14, so on and so on. E is similar in that nature, where E is 2.718, some other numbers here and there. So it's another constant number. So. We're mainly going to be focus, focusing on how do we solve these exponential e equations. So how do I solve an exponential equation? Well, I follow these three steps. First off, I rewrite both sides of my equation so that they have the same base. After I have the same base, I can set the exponents equal to each other. After that, I can go ahead and solve through whatever other methods we have covered in the course so far. So let's look at example one. I have 2 to the x is equal to 8. If I look at this, on the left, my base is 2. On the right, my base is 8. If I want to solve this equation, I need to make sure that both sides have a base of 2. Fortunately for us, I know that 8 is the same thing as 2 cubed. So now I can write 2 to the x power is equal to 2 cubed. Well, from here, now that they have the same base, I'm allowed to set the exponents equal to each other. That is, I can say x is equal to 3. So I took the exponent on the left and on the right, and I set them equal to each other. Well, in this case, now I can solve for x, but luckily for us, it's already solved for. We get x is equal to 3. So you can actually verify this is true as well. If I plug 3 back into my original equation, I get 2 cubed which is definitely 8. So we're done with example 1. Again, we need that same base. Now let's go to example 2. Solve for x. We have another base function with exponentials. So here I have a base of 8 and a base of 2. I want both of them to have a base of 2. I want them to match. Again, we know 8 is the same thing as 2 cubed. So I can write 2 cubed to the x power is equal to, on the right, I already have a base of 2, so there's nothing for me to deal with there. So on the left, 2 cubed to the x power, when I have an exponent all to an exponent power, I just go ahead and multiply them together. In other words, 2 cubed to the x power gives me 3x as my new power. And on the right, I'm still the same value. 
Now, since I have the same base, I have a base of 2 on the left, a base of 2 on the right, I can look at the exponents on the left and the right, and simply set them equal to each other, giving me 3x is equal to 2x plus 4. Well, now all I have to do is solve for x. This is a linear equation again. I can solve for x by subtracting 2x, giving me x is equal to, well, 4. And once again, if you want, you can always check your answer by plugging x equal to 4 back into your equation. We do get that 8 to the 4th power is equal to 2 to the 2 times 4 plus 4 power. Once again, we are trying to get the same base. Now, let's go ahead and look at example 3. Example 3, I have my base of e. I have e to the x equal to e to the 3x plus 8. Once again, I want to remind you that e is a number. This is not a variable. But if I look at this, I have e as my base on the left and e as my base on the right. Using my rules, I can go ahead and now just set my powers equal to each other, giving me x is equal to 3x plus 8. So now I simply solve for x. One way that we can do this is maybe I can subtract 3x from the left and the right, giving me negative 2x is equal to 8. And then I can divide by negative 2. Again, I want x by itself. Giving me x is 8 over negative 2. I got negative 4. And once again, if I plug negative 4 into my original equation, you can calculate this through your calculator or manually. You'll see that we do get the same value. Thus, we are done with example 3. So this is our very brief introduction to exponential equations. We want the same base. After we get the same base, we go ahead and set our powers equal to each other and solve as needed.